welcome to Cargo Must Grab More with Brenda. I'm Brenda, and today we're going to take you on yet another fun installment of the bubble block. I'm going to show you how you flip these around so that you have a finished block that you can sew together and do other fun things that we're going to do in the next few, you know, the next few segments. So it's, it's uh, going to be a little fun little episode here. It's not going to take very long. But first, I want you to check out Nicole Gilbert from Nicole Gilbert Quilts. Now she's just started her new YouTube channel and what she's presenting is a lot of fun. So if you go check her out and you subscribe, tell her Brenda sent you from my channel. Uh, we also have a Facebook group and the ladies in the Facebook group are making use of the rooms. The members are making use of the room. So when you go to the Facebook group, you have to join because it's a private group and then you go to the rooms tab and then you see which room is available or where people are already there and sewing and having a good time. So we do have a Facebook group, uh, the link in the show notes below. We also are offering a virtual sew date. Now I'm not sure when we are voting still or we've decided, but it'll be in our Facebook group and it'll be if we've decided the link and the zoom link will be in the show notes below. So come on in, we gotta get the sewing. Okay, here is our bubble block sewn onto coffee filter, right? Now I'm going to put a piece of fabric. This is about eight inches square. I just pulled this, the, the fabric below out of my scraps. And now what I'm going to do, oh, is drop pins, of course. And I'm going to just put this, just gonna pin it in place, just to make it easier for me to sew around. Now, at this point, you could, you could also add batting on the back or uh, flannel. Just a minute, I only gotta pick up a pin that I dropped before I find it with my foot. So at this point, this is where you would add your flannel or your batting or you know whatever you want to put inside the quilt. I'm going to make um, a bunch of these very lightweight quilts to, to work with. So I'm just going to do it like this, right? By the time, I can also slip in batting if I wanted to, but this is what we're gonna do now. Now I'm going to start on the very edge. I have a quarter inch foot on, and I just make a little back and forth. And now I steer. Now watch how I'm steering. This hand is creating drag, and this one's pushing along, right? Pushing my foot along so I get a nice smooth curve. Now, it doesn't matter how you sew these. Like I'm trying at the very front of my foot to have, that's where the coffee filter paper is touching, the very front of the plow on my foot. So it gets all of my blocks have been sewn the same way. And this gets really, really quick, really easy. So what I'm gonna do, once I get to the end, is I'm just gonna take this. Okay. Now, I'm gonna take this off, cut this off, and what I'm going to do, right off the top, is I'm gonna trim off the excess, because I don't want that all in my quilt. Now, you just, it doesn't have to be perfect circle, and it doesn't take long. This does not take long at all. So, and once you get it down to where we're gonna be, you'll see what a cool little block it does make. So you just trim off all of this, and it goes into a dog bed. Because it's coming from my scraps and my strings, it is not going back into my scraps or strings, it goes into a dog bed or a pet bed. And now you take this, and now you're sitting there, but you can't turn it, you can't turn it. Uh, well, first off, you pull this way at an angle and pull that way. Most of your coffee filter paper is now done, so you just peel it off, and this is not hard. This, my stitches are, I shorten my stitches so it comes off easy, and there's, I'm not pulling out stitches because the paper is really lightweight. You know, and I'm just taking it all off. This is a great job when you're sitting and you got a stack of them and you're gonna sit and watch a movie or Netflix or something for the night or whatever. That's 
perfect, perfect, perfect time to do this. Take all this little bits off. Now, I have another bag here somewhere. I will put all that little stuff in. And make sure you get all the paper out from around the edge. Now, I understand this stuff does kind of decompose, but I don't want decomposing stuff inside my, my quilt. So I'm going to make sure I take it off. And now I have a nice round uh, piece. Just a minute here. I'm having trouble today <laughs> grabbing things. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Yeah, it's going to be one of those days. It's okay. It's okay. There. The weather changes and suddenly there's all this other chaos. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my stitch ripper and I'm not going to unpick the pieced one. I am going to pick, unpick a portion of it just enough to turn the work. I don't want a big, what I'm doing basically is creating a little hole in my work. And that hole right there should be big enough. Let's see right here. Oh, it's not opening. Okay. So here it is. There's my hole. I've created a hole by picking it. So now what I'm going to do is I would force everything inside out and you don't need a big hole. You just need a little hole. Now you're sitting there, what are you gonna do with that? Now, if you had batting and all this, now the batting or flannel, if that's what you're gonna use for your, your batting, it's flannel, you can do that too, is going to be on the inside of this quilt. And you just run your finger around and you get it lying kind of flat. And there we go. And I'm going to do this with all, I have like a hundred blues and a hundred blacks at least because I worked hard and got them all sewn up. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay this out and get it ironed so that it lays flat. And I will be right back with you to show you what you do to close up this hole. Okay, just a sec. Okay, just to explain again, when I was going around with this on the other side, right, you know, when it was inside out, and I was making the paper touch the plow on my quarter inch foot. So I could see where the paper was touching this as it's going under the foot. And that gives you a good healthy quarter inch seam. Now, we made a hole, right? So you're now sitting there. Okay, how do you get rid of the hole? Well, if you had batting or flannel inside this now you would just take a you know a regular you would take a different foot and you would just top stitch over where you made this this hole and I'm just going to go top stitching right across the top and go a couple stitches forward a couple back oops okay doesn't like that okay and I'm going to close up that hole by top stitching and because it's black on black you're never even going to see it you're not, it's not going to be noticeable there's so much going on in this quilt top that you're not going to see it the quilts we're going to build from this are going to be very eclectic and very lovely so we'll get to our ta-da moment and that's all you do to finish your bubble block and we can use it for other things okay so here we are with our little bubble block now this block is already finished all the edges are finished so this leads to a lot of different possibilities on what we can do with it and the possibilities are coming up in the next few free pattern Fridays and it also some of these will be part of like curves boot camp as well so you're gonna need some of this kind of stuff so go to the dollar store buy your coffee filters and start playing and having fun so curve boot camp is right coming up right after the nose gay if we're not already starting the nose gay and or the curves boot camp but it's uh it's gonna be a lot of fun so this is cute you can put it you can put flannel or batting inside because the way we're finishing them 
but I'm doing a very lightweight quilt and because this will be folded and you know and flipped around and all the rest of the stuff this is going to be a little bit different for you to play with so I hope you have a fabulous week ahead and just everything goes great for you okay you take care all right bye my husband and I would love to thank you for coming along with us on our little fun adventure here that we're having. We do have a Facebook group now, and that Facebook group is got some very, very talented quilters in there. And we love sharing and, and you know posting pictures and commenting, and it's it's been a lot of fun. And the advantage of the Facebook group is sometimes I drop patterns in there early, so you kind of get a hint as to what is coming next. After the nosegay sew along, we're going to be doing curves boot camp right away. So we'll get to sewing those curves, and it'll be fun. It'll be a lot of, it'll be a lot of interesting little blocks that we've got to work on. But we would like you to share, like, and subscribe. Telling your friends about us and and letting them know that you kind of like our channel that that means so much to us here. So you take care. You have a fabulous week ahead. Okay, bye.